yoink. We already talked about how if you don't have tracks, you can use rulers for tracks, and they work great for small spheres like the marble here, but not everybody has small spheres. Plus, we want to go bigger anyway. So I use that same ruler onto an old cereal box here, and I just fold it up one side like this, and did the same thing on the other side. And then I cut the track to make it look a little better. Then I took a paper clip and I just poked the paper clip through the two walls here. And I also used a pencil to make the hole a little wider so the paper clip could slide in and out easily. Set up my new roller and I didn't have any string, so I just took some tape and I folded it in half long ways. And now it is an anchor and a yanker. What's gonna happen? Yoink! Again with the cereal box, except this time I wanted to go wider. I had these two little mini Play-Dohs and so I taped them together so it'll roll straight. And then I poked a hole in this cardboard with a hole puncher. And then I used a marker to make the holes a little bit bigger than the pencil so it slides in and out easily. Took a paper clip and poked that into the eraser. And the other end of course is my little makeshift string here connected to the glue. And now I can take a bigger, heavier rolly, and same as before, have something to knock off the anchor. Yink! Yay! Uh, that's easy to cut because it's thin. The bigger the box, the better. It does not have to be cereal. It could be pancakes or good old Swiss Miss. Again, the bigger the box, the better. The sooner we can bring these in, the better because we want to make sure we have enough to work with on April 1st. So if you don't want to wait until the box is empty because it might be a while, you can do what I do, which is take the bag out and put it in there. See, I've got one here already with a little clip on it. And now I have a box that I can bring. So please bring in cereal boxes. Uh, put your name on it so you know whose it is. Do not bring it to the STEM lab because I don't have space for it. Keep it in your uh, teacher's classroom. That way we'll have more materials to work with for our Rube Goldberg machine steam challenge on April 1st. Bring in the boxes.